everyone. So we are the group 3. Napa-assign kami to do a video reporting of our uh, assigned topic which is the terminologies and volleyball. So together with my group mates, we will be going to discuss the different uh, terminologies that you must know in order to be familiarized when maglalaro na tayo ng volleyballs. So, we have prepared you a uh, PowerPoint presentation also for your reference um, para hindi kayo mahuli if ever uh, hindi nyo makuha yung hindi nyo masundan yung aming mga din discuss. So, without further ado, um, pasimulan ko na yung uh, reporting and discussion about uh, the terminologies in volleyballs. So, let's go! So, let us begin with the first one. First, we have ace. So, ace is a serve that results directly in a point. It is usually when the ball hits the floor untouched on the receiving team side of the court. Ito, for example, ako yung server. So, yun, nag-serve ako. You can say that a serve is an ace once anyone from the opposing team or isa sa mga kalaban ay walang nakasalo nung service ko. So, it is an ace. Walang nakasalo, eh, syempre, once sumama yung bola sa court, tapos walang nakasalo, our team gets a point. And that is what you called ace. Next, we have assist. So, assist is helping a teammate set up for a kill. Ito yung uh, last movement na ginagawa ng team before mag-spike or yung tinatawag din kill. Yung parabang uh, ipapasa niya, which will give high toss sa bola para maganon para ma-spike ng kakampi mo. It is executed either um, paganon or paganon. Okay, next. Um, itong term na ito ay basic sa any, to anyone, basic to anyone. Alam to ng mga valuable players and either the normal person. So, we have attack. Attack is the defensive action of hitting the ball. Ito yung kahit anong attempt ng team nyo just to score a point. An attack can be in many forms. Either a spike, a tip, or a hit as an over-the-head contact. Next is attacker. Attacker is also called as heater and spiker. It is a player who attempts to hit a ball offensively with the purpose of terminating a play or para matapos lang yung rally. I'm sure alam nyo na naman yung ano, difference ng attack and attacker, no? So, attack is the offensive action and attacker is the person who will do the offensive action. Next is attack block. Attack block is the defensive team's attempt to block a spike ball. Ito ay uh, pangmalakasan kasi uh, the attack block ginagawa ito as defensive action to a offensive action ng kalaban. So from the word itself, block, you are aiming to prevent the opposing team to get a point. Hindi lang siya basta block, uh, you can just do this kapag uh, mag spike na yung kalaban kaya nga tinawag na attack block. And next of that is attack error. An attack botch in one of five ways. Ball lands out, of bounds, ball goes into net, attack commit center line or net violation, or attacker illegal contact the ball. Attack error, most co coaches ay alam mga ito, but an attack error is charged to a player kapag ang attack or attacker commits a four hit violation, hits the ball into the net, perform a backer attack, creates illegal contact with the ball, hits ball into the antenna. And the next is attack line. A line 3 meters or 10 feet away from and parallel to the net separates the front row players from the back row players. Attack line, ito yung, ito yung white line sa gitna ng iyong court. Court area separates the team players in the front row and the back row player. Position 1, 5, and 6 place in the back row behind the attack line. And players 2, 3, and 4 place in the front row near or front on front of attack line 
Back row court is space from base slice and line to attack line. There are three players whose court position are in this area. Yung nga, kakasabi ko lang na yung position 1, 6, and 5 on the court. Back row court, the back row position in volleyball are the left back, the middle back, and the right back. Ang mga player na ito ang responsible for defending the back court, back court at preventing the other team from scoring. There must also be able to set up the front row players for attacks. Um, back row attack. When a back row player takes off from behind the attack line and attacks the ball various terms A, B, C, D, by B, I, C. Um, back row attack. A back row attack in a volleyball of course when um, one of the three, three back row players attacks the ball and contacts it it at the top of the net. In the back row attack, the back row players ay yung tatalon dun sa line. Basta sa line dun sa iyong court area. Yun sila yung tatalon from behind the white line, also known as the 10 foot line or the 3 meter line and, a, and contact the ball. Back set. Set delivered behind the setter. Um, ang back set naman is in a volleyball is a set delivered behind the setter's back which is subsequently hit by an attacker. It is similar to a regular set but the ball is in a set behind the setter instead of the front of them. Kung pag ganun, <laughs> ganun. Basta palikod yung set ng iyong set ng bola para ma-attack no attacker. Ang baseline naman, the back boundary of the court, also called the end line. The baseline is called the end line. This is the line, the end of the court. Dito yun kung saan ka magperform ng service mo. Next is block. One of, one of the six basic skills a defensive play by one or more front row players meant to intercept a spike ball. The combination of one, two or three players jumping in front of the opposing spiker and contacting this, the spike ball with the hands. So a block may be performed by one front row players or a combination of front row players jumping near the net in front of, in front of an opposing attacker. The goal is to block the spike ball with the hands or, or arms preventing the spiker from a successful attack. Next is blocking error. Touching the net, crossing the center line, blocking a set or serve or any other local violation that occurs, that occurs while making a block attempt. So, kapag nahawakan daw natin ang net or lumagpas tayo sa linya habang nang bablock, ito ay tatawaging blocking error dahil ito ay isa sa mga local violation. Next is the center line. The boundary that runs under the net and divides the court into two equal halves. So, yung guhit sa gitna kung nasaan ang net, yun ang tinatawag na center line. Next is closing the block. The responsibility of the assisting blockers to angle their body relative to the first blocker. So, it occurs when two players while jumping to block an attack hit at the net successfully close off any spaces that are created between them when blocking. And cross-court attack. An attack directed diagonally from the point of attack, also called an angle hit. So, when an individual attack directed across the net and an, an angle from one side of the court to the other side of the court. So, for the next terminology of volleyball, we have cut shot. So, it's a spike from the hitter's strong side that travels at a sharp angle across the net. It is an attack with angle almost parallel to the net. Next, we have deep. It refers to sending the ball away from the net toward the basin of the opponent's court. So, when the ball is sent over the net behind the ball, it is said to be deep. Next, dig. Passing a spike or rapidly hit ball and low to the ground. It is a defensive play. It's slang for, retrie for retrieving an attack ball close to the floor. So statistically, it is scored on a 3.0 point system. So diving deep to a pass to pass a spike or fast moving ball close to the floor. The first contact made after an attack 
after an attacker from the other team sends the ball over to the defensive team is said to be a lead. Leagues can be made with the forearms, open or closed hands, or any part of the body. Next, Dink. It is a one-handed soft hit into, a, into the opponent's court using the fingertips, also called a tip. So basically, it's a legal push of the ball over or around blockers. Next, double block. So it is two players working in unison to intercept a ball at the net. So two net, uh, rather two players working in unison to deflect an attack ball at the net back to the hitter side. Next, we have the double hit. It is two successive hits by the same player. Kung may double hit violation sa basketball, meron din sa volleyball. Kasi you are using your hands and um, movement ng feet as your equipment. Ito ay nangyayari, usually, uh, accidental. Siyempre sa volleyball, di ba? Uh, one touch lang siya. Dapat ang isang player ay mag-commit ng um, one touch. Then, ibang player na yung sasalo. So, double hit violation happens when a person contacts with the ball twice in succession yung magkasanod so para hindi kayo matawagan ng double hit violation pag nakatira ka na let the other players receives it then sundan nyo na kasi pwede na ulit yun sa volleyball hindi dapat maulit succession yung pagtira next is floater floater is a type of serve that the ball does not spin so the ball follows an erratic path which make it unpredictable and more difficult to pass kasi hindi umiikot yung bola parang wala siyang force where it will land next so the next term is follow it is to move with and block an attacker so athletes may change positions with another blocker in the process so follow is a team strategy team strategy ang follow this happens in a court pag magi spike na yung kalaban, di ba? The other team predicted it to happen, kaya ang gagawin nila, may mga may pupuntang blocker near the net and the players will follow the blocker. So sa likod sila, sa likod yung mga other players, sa likod nung blocker para once na miss nung blocker yung ball, uh, the other player na nasa likuran will have the chance to defend the spike as well as to prevent the opponent to get a point. Okay, next we have what we called as forearm pass. It is sometimes referred to pass, bump, or dig. So this is a type of pass wherein it happens when a player passes the ball with the use of their forearms. Itong ganito. Nakaganong kamay in an underhand manner. So that is what you call the forearm pass. Next is free ball. Ito naman is an action when a receiver from your team court will be returning the ball to the opponent without the intent to get a kill. This is usually in a slow, arcing pass or roll shot rather than a spike. Kumbaga, ito yung nagpapabalance ng intense of rally. And the next one is front. Front position of a blocker so that she or he can block the attacker. Front term is used to indicate a blocker being directly across from the attacker. This is the most effective way to establish a block. And the next one is front row. Three players who score position in front row of the attack line near the net. These players are in position of 2, 3, and 4 on the court. Front row players are players who are allowed to block the opponent and attack the ball in the attack zone. Front row players primarily play in the attack zone between the center line and the attack line. Given this, the role of a front row player is primarily primarily to set attack or block the ball. And the next one is game plan. Game plan, offensive and defensive emphasis for an opponent usually organized for each rotation by the coaching staff. Game plan is strategy for attaining a goal. 
in which a coach might prepare a particular strategy for a game based off the respective strengths and weaknesses of the coach team and opposing team. The next one is held ball, a ball that comes to a rest during contact resulting a, in a violation. Held ball is a ball that is not hit by a player within 3 hits or is, is, not, is not hit cleanly with a player's hand. A held ball is also known as a leaf or a carry. So not I hit. One of the six basic skills to jump and strike the ball with an overhand forceful shot. Volleyball hit uh, requires a player to take a spike approaching a described above followed by arm swing that is used to bring the player's hand above their head to make a contact with the ball so that it clears the net and finishes finishes in the opposing team court. Next is hitter, also spiker or attacker. The player who is responsible for hitting the ball. So, ito naman ang tawag sa mga attacker at spiker ng bola. Meron ding iba't ibang position ng hitter, katulad na lang na outside hitter, middle hitter at opposite hitter. Joust, when two opposing players contact the ball simultaneously above the net, causing the ball to momentarily come to rest. The point is you played if it is called by the official. So, joust requires that both players contact the ball at the same time and that it installs between their hands. Jousting Jousting in volleyball should happen when the ball would land over the center line of the net where each side could technically play the ball. Next is jump serve. The server uses an approach, toss, take up and serves the ball with a spiking motion while in the air. There are two main types, the jump float and jump spin. So, jump serve is an advanced volleyball serve where the ball is thrown into the air and the player makes contact with it by jumping and hitting it in, in mid-air. Next is key play or player. To discern, to discern a team's best player or probable next play by observation of patterns or habits. So, ang key players or play ay to recognize who's the best player on a team. Next is skill, an attack that results directly in point or side out. So, kill is recorded anytime an opponent cannot return an attack that is directly related to the opponent not getting the ball back over the net. So, a kill can also be defined as an attempted attack that results in a point for the attacking team. Next, we have Libero. It is a player specialized in the de defensive skills. This player must wear a contrasting jersey color from his or her teammates and cannot block or attack the ball when it is entirely above net height. When the ball is not in play, the Libero can replace any back row player without prior notice to the officials. So, the player who wears a different color jersey and only plays in the back row, typically in the middle back, is called the libero. So this player's main job is to serve, to serve, receive, pass, play defense, and step in as the backup setter. They are allowed to play for an, for any or all of the six players on the court in the back row. Depen depending on the league, one or two liberos may be desig designated at the beginning of the match and used in any game. If two liberos play, then they may replace each other at any time but cannot play together at the same time. Next, we have lineup. So, they are players starting rotation and therefore serving order. They are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next, line serve. It is a, a straight ahead serve landing near the opponent's left sideline. So it is 2 inches wide, uh, 5 centimeters. Next, we have lines. The marks that serve as boundaries of a court. So, so yeah, they are also 2 inches and 5 centimeters wide. Um, when the ball travels down the same sideline from one team to the other, it is said to be hit down the line. So, yun, that's that. This term can also be used 
to designate the defender that is near the same line the attacker is closest to. We are said to be the line defender. Alright, linesman. So, they are officials located at the corners of the court. So, each linesman is responsible for ruling if the ball is legally in play along the lines for which he or she is responsible. For indicating touches and play outside of the antennae, antennae on their side of the net. Thank you. 